Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have had a lot of inquiries on my channel recently on overheating fire sticks. If your fire stick is slowing down, it's not moving between screens very fast, it might be overheating. I have a solution for you. I'm gonna bring it to you right now. All right, guys, let's get right into it. So there's a few reasons why your fire stick might be overheating. And how do you know if your fire stick's overheating? More than likely, when you go through the screens, you'll notice it's slower than it was maybe when you got it right out of the box. You can tell physically just by reaching around and holding on to and touching your, fi your uh, actual fire stick, the actual stick itself, and just feel it and see if it's warm. If it's warm, it's probably gonna slow down your performance. So let's talk about the hardware reasons why that might happen, and then we'll get into the software reasons. More than likely, it's software related, and that's an easy fix. If it's hardware related, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that have come up with some creative ideas, things like, uh, poking holes in, actually drilling holes into your fire stick. Guys, do not do that. These things are designed to be able to run cool if you optimize it right. And I'm gonna share with you how to do that right now. So let's do the hardware reasons, okay. The TV itself might be in a location that could cause heat. Example, it's inside of a cabinet or it's up against a wall directly. You'll notice on all my demonstrations, the TVs are slightly away from the wall. That might not be an option for you guys to be able to pull it away from your wall if you don't have one that, that does that, if it's flush against your wall. So what you need to do is just make sure that whatever fire stick that you have, it's not plugged into the back of the TV. It needs to be in the side HDMI plugs, okay? If you don't have the side HDMI plugs, that's fine. That's the reason why they came up with this. Guys, this is the extension that goes in here. You may have opened your package and you saw this right here and you thought, oh, that's all I need, stick it in, it's working great. Well guys, they added this for those that don't have the HDMI on the sides of their TV. They only have it in the back. What you need to do is just make sure that you plug that in. That way, when you plug it into the back of your TV, it is not directly against your TV. That will cause heating. It's the, actually the TV projecting heat onto your fire stick. So two things, make sure this is plugged into it, okay? try to use the side one. What I do actually is I use the side one and this. I just double it up so it's further from the TV so it runs cooler. So if I were to reach behind my TV and hold on to my fire stick that's been running all day long, no problem at all. It won't be heated up and it will run optimally. And you'll notice in all my videos, all the apps work. Everything is fast, everything is smooth. There's a reason why guys, because I had it set up properly from the hardware perspective. Now let's get into the software reasons why your fire stick might be overheating and slowing down. All right, so first we're gonna talk about clearing cache because that's very important because it fills up your hard drive and it's constantly having to, to process. Process, process, process. So let's fix it really quick. Go to your home screen on your Fire Stick. You will notice it runs very fast on mine. Again, these are the reasons why I want, I want everybody's Fire Stick to run just like mine. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go over to your settings section. Se settings section, you can do so much with your Fire Stick. If you're not familiar with this section, spend a little bit of time on some of my other videos. I have some great, videos on how to learn about your fire stick the more you know the better it will run okay so let's head on down and go all the way over here to your applications which is right here once you click on applications you just need to spend a little bit of time now this is the manual way to do it i'm going to share that with you first because you have to understand what you're doing and then i'm going to give you shortcut ones at the end here so uh, manage installed applications, 821 megabytes free right now. Watch how fast this increases. Now you can go through each one and you can clear them. One app that really makes your Fire Stick not run good is Kodi. I know a lot of people like Kodi, but Kodi takes up a lot of resources and the processor's working on it all the time and it holds, it stores a lot of cash, okay? So you saw how much I had. If you go through each app, you can actually see how much cash is being used for each app. So if you go through here, you'll notice some of them are more than others and some don't use much at all. So let's go through here and let's clear out a few of these here. So uh, Sterling TV uses a lot, Sling uses a lot, but you know what? Look at the screensaver, 251. Let's clear that. You need to clear the screensaver one all the time, but you can go through here and you can see all of these. That was the big one. So that's gonna clear up some space right there. So just clearing the cache once in a while. And that's a nice thing about the cache too, is if you're having problems with an app, let's say for example, 
you want to use your Voodoo app, but for some reason it's just not working, it's kicking you back, you're getting a gray screen, all these things that could happen with it. Most of the time, all you need to do is just clear your cache just like that. It's cleared, and now you could just force stop it and relaunch it and it will work perfectly, okay? So that's the manual way to clear cache. I suggest going through here and clearing them all. There's really no reason to keep cache at all, okay? It doesn't do anything for you other than slow your system down. Now I have over a gig. You really wanna have over a gig. Now another thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure in the same exact section that you close your apps when you're done with them. Force close them. So just go through here and just force stop any app that you've used, okay? So I force stopped a few here, but before I force stop them all. I'm going to share with you a way to find out what is actually on your Fire Stick running in the background, using up your data, using up your resources, causing your processor to work harder, and effectively overheating your Fire Stick. If there's an app called Background Apps and Processes, and I've done this video in the past telling you about it, but if you're new to my channel, this is the first video you've seen and you're having issues with an overheating Fire Stick, this is a great one to have because you'll know what's you know, what's working in the background. I know a lot of people worry about the overheating fire stick, and there are some concerns. Not only will it slow down your performance, but it could cause a fire, guys. It gets that hot sometimes, and I've heard of that happening. So just follow all my steps, and you won't have any problems with your fire stick. It's a very safe device if you follow what I'm sharing with you. So let's open up background apps and processes, and how do you get it? It's really simple. It's actually in the app store. All you need to do is just type in background, Right there, background processes. Either one of these will pull it up. Just click on that, you'll see it right there. Go ahead and download it, it's great, it's free. You might as well use it. Once you open it up, it'll show you what's actually running in the background. All right, I only have three things running in the background. Why? Because I clear them every time I'm done. Guys, watch a video, clear it. So let's close all apps. All you need to do is go up here to close apps, which is right at the top right here, and it will pull up each one. Go ahead and just force stop it. That's all you have to do. Hit the back button for stop. All right, so you just have one here. It's the downloader one that I showed you before. So we're going to go ahead and force stop that. Now guys, my fire stick is going to be completely clean. Just like that. Now when you open it up, you've got nothing open. Guys, close those background apps and your fire stick will run a lot better. It won't get hot. It won't overheat. All right. Now another thing is knowing what heavy apps are guys heavy apps are apps that take up a lot of resources cody is one of those and i've shared other options for you to get some of those free movies free sports things like that that won't really bog down your fire stick pretty much anybody that has cody on a regular fire stick or 4k fire stick is going to have some sort of bogging down or slowing down or overheating because it uses so much doesn't matter which build you use i know there's going to be naysayers out there that say well i use it no problem it's great for you guys it doesn't work for everybody because it does take up those resources. Maybe you're better at closing apps, clearing cash, and not running too many things at the same time. Not everybody is, guys, so this is why you really should go through and see which apps do I really need. So to delete an app, all you, there's two ways to do it. I'm gonna show you the manual way first, okay? So if you go to your settings again and go to your applications, that's again the same section where you see everything that's going on right here, manage installed applications. Now go through and see which ones do I really not need, guys? Which one do I not use anymore? Which one do I not like? Just go through here and find one. So movies anywhere, I don't use that. I don't need that, I have Voodoo. Voodoo's way better. Let's clear that out. So go ahead and click on it and click uninstall. Uninstall it, boom, just like that. It's uninstalling it, it's off your device that easy, okay? Now just by doing that, I've just cleared up a little bit more space. The more space, the better. So go through your applications and see which ones you don't need. Clear them out because it will actually use your, your space. Okay, guys, so another way, thing to think about is the automated way to do that. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you hold down the home button for a few seconds, just a few seconds, it'll pull this screen right up here, guys. This is a shortcut screen. Again, it's that home button on your remote. If you don't have a home button, if you have like a gyro pad or one of those third-party ones that doesn't have a home button, you won't be able to do this. You have to do it the other way. But if you do, this is that kind of a cool section. It's a shortcut to your apps, shortcut to sleep, which you should do, and I'm gonna talk about that the end to mirror it if you want to use your phone and you know send it right to it and then all your settings can be found right here these are just it's a shortcut button hold down your home button kind of cool 
A lot of people didn't know that. So then you can go right into your apps like this. Once you pull up your apps, you can delete them from here as well. Just find one that you don't want. Doesn't matter which one. I don't want the, the TiVo one. Just hit the three dash lines on your remote here and then go ahead and click on install. It's the same way to do it. It's actually the way most people do uninstall programs because then you can actually see them and then you can organize them as well. Say for example, I want Voodoo right at the front. It's at the bottom, but I want it way to the top. Again, I hit the three dash lines, I move to front. Now when I go to my home page, it'll be right up in the top section right here. Once I close it and open it back up, there we go, now it's right up front, just like that. So that's how you move apps, that's how you uninstall apps, that's how you clear cache. All these things are important to allow your Fire Stick to run smoother. Now the last thing I'm gonna share with you is it's good to every once in a while straight up unplug your Fire Stick from the wall. Not the TV, but the actual wall outlet. That will allow everything to restart, kinda of like a computer, how you wanna power it down once in a while, Routers, for example, on your internet, if your internet's running slower, a good solution to that. And every time you call tech support, they're gonna tell you unplug the router for 10 seconds and then plug the power back into it and you will notice an improvement in your performance on your internet at home. It's the same thing with a fire stick. It's the same thing with a computer. Power it down, guys. Now, that only needs to be done once a week or so, maybe once every two weeks. It doesn't have to be a religious thing. I know a lot of the plugs are not handy to you sometimes, but it should be done at least once every couple weeks. But in the meantime, you may not know this, but if you forget to, for whatever reason, close those background apps, your Fire Stick is actually still powered up even when you turn your TV off. It does not power the Fire Stick down and that's where the shortcut button again comes in handy. Go to sleep, put your Fire Stick to sleep, guys. Now it's not running, it's not heating it up, it's not burning the processor, it's not potentially using up data because Fire Sticks do Amazons and Amazon products. They have, tend to have ads that kind of populate at the bottom of the screens. It's working all the time, guys. It's definitely processing things while you're sleeping, even if your TV's off. So make sure you put your Fire Stick to sleep. Guys, I hope this helped you out. It was a quick video. I just wanted to share the hardware reasons why it might be overheating and slowing down, and then the software reasons. If you do everything I share in my videos, your Fire Stick will run just like mine. All the apps will work just like mine. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below any questions you might have about any of these processes I shared with you. Thanks for watching my channel. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 